Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Amanda the Buzz Coach. Today we're going to be talking about another productivity health tool that I think is really, really cool and that is the Tushy Bidet. Now I do want to add that I am no way sponsored by Tushy. I just really, really was curious about this product. So we ended up buying one and I saw this as an opportunity to do a thorough review, hence why we have this video. Okay, back to the video. Tushy can be installed right underneath your toilet seat. Not only can you save on water and toilet paper in the long run, you can prevent hemorrhoids, UTIs, and feeling cleaner after every toilet visit. I will show you an unboxing of the Tushy. I'll show you what's inside of it, what to expect, the tools you'll be using, how to install it, and most importantly, my reaction to actually using the Tushy bidet. Let's start putting this thing together. Right here, so this is the actual Tushy box. Really, really love the branding on this box. I think it's hilarious. Stop wiping your butt, start washing with Tushy. Let's go ahead and open. The first thing is you're going to be seeing inside of your tushy. <laughs> okay, so we got a pipe board thing. Then we got the actual attachment. So this is what goes onto the toilet itself. Then we got some tape. I don't know what's in that bag. These things actually. You also got a steel connection. One year limited warranty. Put this shit together. Awesome. So this I'm sure is the instruction manual. You might also need a wrench and a screwdriver. Ooh, all right, let me go get those. Let's get to it. First things first, I'm gonna clean the toilet because I'll be filming and I don't want you all to be disgusted by my actual living conditions. Let's get to it. The latrine is clean. So it looks like step number one, I need to turn off the water valves, both in the toilet and in the sink. So that's the valve they're talking about that's leading into the toilet. The sink, it would be this valve that you would need to turn off. You'll know it's off when you do that and nothing comes out. So step number two, I need to flush the toilet and completely drain out whatever remaining water is left in the bowl. I had to hold down the flusher until it completely empties a little bit of inches of water is okay. Just holding it down, holding it down. All right, okay, now it's starting to work. Okay, so the next step is I actually need to remove the toilet seat. Now it's time to work on the hot water connection under the sink and I start by disconnecting the pipe from the valve. This was definitely not easy. These pipes or whatever for the sink is, it's awful. Like it's like rusted shut. It's, it, this is gonna be really, really tough. <sighs> Goodness. These instructions are telling me I need to take this mini adapter, put it underneath, um, where the where the connection valve was, and then also have a, a like a or adapter that goes there that's supposed to be included, but not really not really seeing it. I'm not seeing a rubber adapter anywhere. So <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. One and a half hours later. I need a nap. Okay, for what seemed like literal hours, I managed to finally get the connection between this water pipe to the adapter, to the valve. Glad that's over, <laughs> I'm so tired. Now it's time to assemble and connect the cold water. literally just struggled for hours trying to figure out how to make the leak stop. You know, now it's taunting me with some droplets, so I'm gonna try to figure that part out. For the most part, I got it installed and I'm gonna give it a shot once I figure out this plumbing issue. Be right back. One and a half hours later. Okay, another update. I just found the spacer washer and it was so conveniently hidden inside of this valve thing that was connected to the cold water pump, so I had to disconnect everything to find this and now I'm gonna have to reconnect everything back. <sighs> Patience. 
40 minutes later. Working on tightening the last bolts. Oh my god, am I straightening this the right way? 10 minutes later. You ever like think you're going well in life and then you find out you're just screwing the wrong way? <laughs> God help me. 32 sweaty minutes later. I'm sweating like a pig. Here it is, in all its glory. <sighs> After about six hours of setup. Here's our uh, little tushy, and it's got the remote controls. This mounted first, and then I put the seat cover right back on it. Pretty simple, that was actually the simplest part of this whole shenanigans. By far the most interactive experience I've ever had with a product ever. It's time to clean my butthole. Hello my friends from the toilet. Everything feels pretty much the same, but now it's time to put this baby to the test. According to the handy dandy instructions, first I need to drop my deuce. Then I got to spray my bum with tushy. And it also says to go easy on the knobs first, so I guess it's just, you know, trial and error and figure out how you're gonna like it. Step three, you're just gonna pat dry and ta-da! You got a nice clean butt. I also got bamboo tushy towel, perfect for patting dry after going at it with your tushy. And uh, ooh, yeah, these do feel really soft. Here we go. Okay, so there's two things. Oh, I can I can control the pressure, nice. How, okay, so I'm gonna put the temperature to about like a warm. There's nozzle wash and bum wash. I'm not sure what nozzle wash and bum wash mean, but let's say I, you know, I wanna do a bum wash, so I'm just gonna turn. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Wow. <laughs> I literally just got a stream of water go straight up my butthole. That was insane. Let's do it again. Oh! oh, I like this. Okay, so this is a steady stream of water and it's cleaning my butthole. This, I'm not even, this is like at the lowest, lowest pressure. If I do it like a little higher, I go all the way. Oh, okay. It's like kind of one setting. I'm turning the I turn the knob all the way to the right, and it's giving me a good bum wash. Feels very nice, actually. It's going like straight in there too, which is interesting. Now I wonder what the nozzle wash is. So I'm just gonna turn the dial all the way to nozzle wash. <laughs> every time, every time with with the bum wash, it's just a, it's just a little. A little surprise, like a little hi there. Let me be your friend. What is the difference between those up and down arrows? Oh, I get it. Okay, so it looks like the up and down arrows kind of like shoot the nozzle at different angles. Get a nice- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was right up my butt. That's enough for me. There you have it. I now have a nice clean posterior. You had fun watching me suffer for eight hours trying to put this freaking thing together. And uh, yeah, for what it is, it's a nice butt cleaning experience. Yes, it did take me about seven and a half hours from starting to finish to get everything organized and installed. Now this is me being a novice, not having all the tools and not seeing everything in front of me like, like I really should have. Usually the setup should take you about 10 to 20 minutes. So don't be a dumbass like me. So if you're interested in getting your own Tushy Bidet, I will include my affiliate link in the description below. And what this means is that I will be getting a small commission if you decide to purchase through that link. And like I said, Tushy did not pay me to say any of this stuff. I just really, really enjoy and love this product. And I did work out a deal with Tushy for all of my subscribers to get either five or ten dollars off when they follow that affiliate link. So if you want to get the Tushy Bidet and get some money off of that, be sure to follow that affiliate link in the description below. I do feel that my butt is so much cleaner and uh I just came off my period a couple days ago, so being able to like keep that clean in between my washes, that really, really helped me out. I definitely see Tushy as more than just a bum washer. It can do many other things as well, so praise be to Jesus. I like this thing a lot. <laughs> if you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a like and to subscribe to my channel. Smash that like button so that you can see more fun product reviews and tips from me in the future. All right, everybody, Coach Amanda out. I gotta go poop.